So, Doc Fulton, this is what you note. Um, let's see. Uh, they, they're still eating uh, uh, other dead people. They've got a, they, they like Freddie said, it's, uh, or actually, hold on. I've got some pictures that will. Ooh, pictures. Yes, because I care about the PCs and et cetera. That's a lie. It is. Um, let's see. <coughs> so here's uh, some general pictures of like the wasteland. <clears throat> and here's uh, some pictures of the freaks that you're up against. Of course, they dress like post apocalyptic warriors. Now, they are, if, if you imagine like part of a bridge going over, and then there's like a wall and stuff uh, on the back. Freddie knows that wall well. There's blood splatter all over the wall, and it's almost like two outlined people against the wall. Um, <laughs> that's there. And then uh, off to the right is a bunch of uh, cages. Where did they get these cages from? They look rather professionally made. You don't know, but they have them. Um, and the prisoners are in there. They're not currently eating them. As Freddie said, you got a couple of days before they get to them because they are eating their dead. It appears they've repopulated. Uh, close to them, like back, like you guys, bad guys, city. Here's kind of the twisted skeletal remains of the city. Okay. This is their leader, Lord Buckethead. <laughs> <laughs> do you recognize who that is yeah I do. cool and um yeah also something else that you guys found that's interesting is uh it looks as though uh, there's some sort of construction that seems to be going on in the city it looks like it's a very large um square structure about two three stories tall it looks like it's partially completed. It looks like it's got a huge metal door in the front. And uh, seems to be a big square thing. Looks really goddamn familiar to you. Familiar to him? Uh, it's both of you, actually. Is that the same thing that was in Burlington? Uh-huh. <laughs> but it's still under construction. You've got a few days, maybe. What is building it then? Good question. Can we see from here? No, no. He brought you to a good place to spy on the uh, uh, the current crop of bad guys. You don't have uh, new bad guys yet. Um, I but uh, let's see the uh, bad guys when they go out. Hold on, I'll pull up my notes here. Uh, okay, the bad guys, there's about 50 of them, plus Buckethead. And, oh, by the way, both of you guys give me sanity rolls as you get to watch cannibalism. Uh, uh, there's a lot of cannibalism, so it's a little worse. And it is on the sheet already, so when you uh, take your sanity and stuff toward that. If you make it, it's only D3 for watching an amazing, over-the-top amount of cannibalism. Yay, Chris. Okay, so... Um, the cannibalism that they're doing, uh, in addition to eating them, they also have like necklaces of fingers, they're wearing skins of people, uh, they, you know, all, all kinds of, they're really into the whole cannibalism thing. They're dead. They've gotten their whole identity wrapped up in this. Um, every morning they leave about a dozen people here to guard the prisoners in the camp. The rest split into three groups, uh, 12, 12, and 14 plus Buckethead. They head off in like the two days that you've been watching because that's the that's all the extra food they have. After this, they're going to start eating prisoners again. Um, they go off in pretty much random directions to apparently go scavenge or whatever. As far as uh, armor, none. Weapons, uh, shitty. You're just looking at it, it's like they're all armed with D6s, basically. Okay. Um, they come back at staggered times or sometimes almost at random. Like one group went out for an hour and then came back for whatever reason. 
So, and then uh, they eat about four people's worth at the nighttime feast. These guys are all kind of scrawny. Uh, they've got sharpened teeth. They're they're like thin, multiracial chochos. Gotcha. Okay. Um, yeah, nice necklace of ears. They look diseased and slovenly. Uh, but they are keeping a pretty good watch. Also, it looks like they've got something new. They've got um, whistles and horns, like made from uh, oh, right. and stuff. Um, because they're apparently all worried now since people have been raiding on them multiple times and shit. So it appears that they're pretty watchful. Okay. I mean, you could do the Sir Lancelot rush at them. They're probably not expecting that. Yeah, well, not when there's all 50 of them. But yeah. Well, it's up to you. I mean, if you get mm -hmm. to your, your wall, then, you know, only a few of them can attack. You're really wishing there, there was a whole building somewhere, Chris, for a nice doorway battle, but it doesn't look like anything survived enough for that. Okay. Uh, also, I'm going to point out, because I know where we left it, where the truck is. Oh, yeah. He, it, it's it's uh, actually, with the stealth rolls as good as they are, you could even take them over to and go, look, the truck. They've essentially uh, got a truck. It looks as though it was parked very badly and then camouflaged super well. Uh, and it's got, like, this harness made for He-Man or something like that. If you wanted to put it on, then you could walk in front of the truck and literally pull it. Oh. Yeah. It, it appears that the parking brakes on, or other brakes are on, and all that kind of stuff. You're guessing that whoever's driving it, if they don't know what they're doing, then it will only hinder the person trying to pull it. Did someone drive this here, or what? Uh -huh. <laughs> That's a good answer there. In a manner of speaking. Well, wh how exactly did this get here? Well, Alex told it. And I steered it badly. The sides are all scraped up and stuff like that. One of the wheels is kind of messed up a little bit. Okay. But Alex is monstrously strong. He, he yeah. might even be able to uh, 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 pick up a motorcycle and use it uh, against somebody as a big club or something, but he likes his hammer a lot. So on average, how many with whistles has a stay in the camp when everybody out is out scavenging? Whistles and horns, probably five. And how many people total stay in the camp when everyone goes out scavenging? Dozen. Yeah. You can tell that the people being left in the camp aren't terribly happy about it, but uh, there's various arguments and slap fights and stuff like that that, you know, uh, go on. Um you know, and yeah, Lord Buckethead talks to a lot of people. You, just watching them, you're not even sure if killing him would make a difference. These guys are pretty much feral animals. It's not like Lord Humongous that could really keep his people in line. Okay. So there's no leadership and like, you don't even think leadership would help, honestly, right? Like, just looking at them, they're just out here eating and consuming and trying to well, give me a medicine roll. A uh, couple of them giggle a lot, if that means anything to you. Methods. Well, if they had meth, they would yeah, definitely yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I forget what it's called, but there's a disease you can get from eating infected human brains that uh, gives you like this weird laughing sickness thing. Um, okay. And a couple of them are experiencing uh, a little bit of symptoms of early stages of that. Uh, I mean, if you give these guys now 20 years or so, they should all die naturally. But um, you, you're thinking Kim and her people just don't have that 
long. Yes, but they don't look especially reliable. I mean, if you were to go in there and just start working on killing people and shit while they're sleeping, you'd probably get through a decent number of them, but eventually somebody would wake up and start screaming, or maybe even the first person you kill based on how damage goes in this, because complete surprise only gives you two bumps and a bonus to hit. So Freddy will roll one to fucking damage somebody. And that guy will scream like a stuck pig, and then everybody will get up, and then you got 49 people and one guy with a fucking small scratch on his toe. So I'm just thinking, once we actually do manage, well, if we actually do manage to rescue everyone, I was thinking we put them in the ruined city in the sewers of Alien Post Apocalypse, set them up with a little base there. Will that work, do you think? I could just... I was going to say, if they don't need to eat and don't want to see the sun ever again, sure. Well, well I we mean, no, do... that'll, that'll be their home. But... What we could do is uh-huh. bring them to MMO. How? I, I know you can group Shadow Walk, but what vehicle? The Zardo's head? No, it would have to be... Literally walking. Which would take some time, I know. It'll take weeks. And I could only do like 10 at a time? I I can do it too, but I'm just saying. So we can pull like 20 out. Assuming we even succeed on the walk. Yes. Right. Yeah, I'm not assuming Freddy's going to succeed. <laughs> Freddy roll. I, I don't doubt. I don't doubt Freddy's brain. It's Freddy's dice rolls. I have. So oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. I can open up a. Oh, so I have Ooh. to. I have to check something. Ooh. He's yeah. Remembering things. So a trump gate is actually a gate, right? It's not. So would. Would uh, background people be able to go through? No. Untested. We have tested it. No, yeah. Oh, it's something gate. Gate. Oh, okay. Don't know what, okay. Don't know what that is. <laughs> totally different thing. Chris has been working hard on uh, skill arms. Why is it Trump gate? How do you do that? So I open up a Trump to an area, and I can hold it open, and people can walk through for a certain amount of time. I have to hold my concentration to do so, but people can walk through. Hmm. Okay. Handy. Yes. There are more powerful things further up the uh, ladders, so to speak. You guys are the basic, basic, basic things. But soon... Soon Chris will be walking low, Grace. <laughs> and the pattern within him will rebel and try to light him on fire, but he'll push through somehow if he gets high enough. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Or that will happen either or. Well, okay, well. Let's worry about where we'll take them after we actually get them out. Cause exactly, I, I agree. We have options, so, yeah. Um, I mean, do you want to try the wait for them to go scavenge and try and take them out quickly? We could do, yeah, we could do, I think we should do that going for, like, the stealthy kill-kill. Do you have any ideas how to, like, take them out quick, though? Like, I don't know, um, because there's 12 of them. And even, I know you're skilled in combat, but it'll take... It'll take time. At least, yeah. Um, And, yeah. (laughs) 
So one of the things that we could do is we could try to, because do they keep constant guard of the prisoners or are the prisoners just kind of like there's their food and they're watching outside only? Uh, from what you were able to tell with your remarkable roles, they're not really keeping a big eye on the prisoners, but you're thinking that any any kind of movement over there, it's it's a pretty exposed place. You're thinking you're definitely going to get spotted. Just you're, you're, Plus, uh, the prisoners are to a person laying down in their cages. They, they aren't even smart enough to stand in them or sit. Do you still have that book? What was that last part? They're not strong enough or what? Yeah, they, they look fucked up. Oh, there's Kim. Hi, Kim. Hi. Um, okay, so like we couldn't arm them and they wouldn't be able to help. Uh, you're thinking they would just lay there and clutch the weapon and cry. I mean, right. they, they, they've been abused so badly and for so long and fed and so little. Um, yeah. Do you, do you still have that book that you can pull stuff out from? No. Went away. Fuck. You know how the sure, cosmos is. a hamburger in there. <laughs> ah. Food porn. Food oh, it's magic. Magic doesn't work well here. Mm -hmm. Magic doesn't work. Oh yeah, good point. Doesn't work at all, actually. I call these guys sickly post-apocalyptic cannibals. That reminds me. How is your potter magical or is it patent? Mm -hmm. All right. So say goodbye to all the magical properties then while we're here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. All right, so what if... I wouldn't use the putter here, because normally the putter's not that strong. It's an extendable putter. Yeah, yeah. Barely can be used as a putter when that's extendable, much less a club. But in magical areas, it has the spirit of Batman in it, and it is strengthened by it, etc. <laughs> Do you want to test and see if um your Trump gate works on background people or do you think it probably doesn't? My guess is it doesn't, but I don't know. Because if it does work, we can just bring an army of like this this kin or kin devil and just take them out that way. But I, I, I'm assuming it doesn't work. Might not even be worth playing. So, here's an idea. We go back, we find out if it works for background people. Yeah. We hire mercenaries from from Beastkin. Yeah. Pull them through, saying that we're rescuing uh, Australians. Australians. <laughs> yeah. Bring them through. Take out these motherfuckers, and then gate them all back to to where they belong, and then we can take the prisoners to wherever we want to. Okay. Sounds fine. The prisoners are so fucked up right now that even yeah. if they, like, they could be, we can, we might be able to convince them that they were having, like, fever dreams, and they're so sick that they were clearly not seeing the proper things. Yeah. And even if they do lose a bit of, like, uh, mental fortitude at this point, it probably they probably got have. rescued. Yeah. I mean, that's assuming this even work, but yeah, let's try it and see. All right. <laughs> All right so, so are, um, the kids, are the kids back at the embassy or what? No, they're in MMO land on vacation. There's right. a cranky old cat lady named uh, Mrs. Foxy or something. She's in charge right now. So is like where we're standing right here a good like this is really close to the base like you are currently use... up on uh, some rubble on like the um, third floor of some rubble but it only has like pieces of walls left and uh, he showed you a nice easy place to climb up and down eventually you've been sleeping up here for a couple of days 
You're, you're thirsty and hungry as fuck because I don't think either of you brought food and water because he didn't tell you you would need it. I didn't know it's been that long. But. It's only been two days. Surveillance goes in sometimes weeks and months. But see, that that's the other problem is at this point, if they're going to start eating people. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. So we don't have multiple days to worry about that shit. No, we don't. And we would have to paint a Trump for here. Oh, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Or at least well, sketch, if we sketched it. Yeah, if we sketched it, it would work, but eh, whatever. Yeah, you're not sure if your Trump gate thing will work on a sketch or not. Fritz, an open doorway to place sketch slash painting is to. Well, maybe you are sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the mystery. All right, so I'll be going back then to test this out then, or? Yeah, let's make a sketch of here, though. Both of us try to make a couple sketches. Okay. Uh, uh, do you want to climb down from your perch that you've been at for a while? That way I can make fun of whoever uh, fails their climbing roll and uh, falls onto the rubble and stuff below. All right. The very spiky rubble that looks like you need a tetanus shot just for looking at it. Chris climbs down upside down just to be a dick. He then gets out of the way so you can fall to your death safely. There he goes. Freddie launches himself up in the air. He does like a kind of a swimming dive and he puts his hands by his side and he's got his head aimed right for the spiky bit. Freddie, can you, hold on, let me find out the damage for a three-story fall here real quick. Mm, let's see here. Three stories. So uh, you critted it. Roll 2d8 and 2d10 and add them all up, please. Holy crap. You fumbled. That's been a hero That's been uh, a hero yeah. If you really, if you feel that it's necessary, yeah. but I'm not sure. I mean, look. For 2d10 and 2d8, it's not that bad, right? Even if I was at full health, that would be bad. <laughs> Just because you're trying to swan dive off of this, bitch. See what I mean about Freddy's rolls? He normally can't roll anything uh, less than a 70 or so. Or actually 75, I think, because his sword fighting skill is close to 70-something. So, yeah. He's rolling like I do when I play. Uh, so yeah. Freddy manages to struggle his way down as Doc Fulton waits patiently. Oh, and Freddy's only a fucking few hero points off of getting his fucking... I know, power. right? Tricks power. So let's see if we can sap those out of him, shall we? Um... <laughs> Chris just smiles. <laughs> yeah, I've been there. Mm -hmm. I was getting close to my 100. That I just got the newest one. Uh, that happened. That's when I had to go and fucking walk the fucking pattern so that our planet didn't, or our dimension didn't go the fuck away. How, how close are you to the 151, Chris? Oh, I just got the 100 one like two adventures ago. Ah, okay. Got it. Yeah, next season. All right, for you. so sketch yeah. then. Yep, both of you guys give me sketching rolls for the. You can you can only do a couple of sketches per per day. Like I'm limiting you to four four tries at the sketches and shit. All right. So go for sketch. You're weak from fucking thirst, hunger, they gnaw at your bones. You know, if you stay here in our day, then you'll be starting to make endurance rolls and shit versus death. One. Two. You appear to be too weak to draw. Oh, right, there you go. Tell it. Our plan's doomed, he says. I'll just do three more and then let's see what happens. Oh, of course I quit that one. Okay. Come on, blow a bunch of hero points. All right, so two Trump making attempts. And then you're done with your four? Cool. Yeah. Go, go, two Trump making mm. attempts. All right, hold on to the next one. 
Okay. Hold oh, on. He's waiting until the last possible moment, and then he can play some cards on you and shit, because he's remembered he has cards. Uh oh, I was like, I was a reroll, so. Yeah. Oh, okay. What? You couldn't have given me that for the fucking climb? <laughs> <laughs> I just looked at my cards right now. Sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. You know, right, somebody uh, ever edited this? A whole uh, edit roll of Freddie being indignant or uh, wanting wanting to fuck Oh, uh, I'll find one. Ah, perfect. All right. So, uh, uh, here's a, here's... I got a re roll for you. Go ahead. There you go. What? Really? You want me... Okay. And then just trade him whatever. Uh, By the way, Chris, be sure uh -huh. to keep in mind if you fall more than 25 meters, yeah. you're trying to roll hot ones and shit to live. Okay. Like several. Two hot uh, ones, yeah. five, three to walk away. Four, and your equipment isn't damaged either. And you've left a crater. Five, and there's uh, an ethereal glow about you as you come out of the ground like uh, some sort of risen savior or whatever. Right, so he's made a fucking trump, a nice one shot for here. Just a little sketching he did. All right, let's go through to the embassy. Mm -hmm. You guys trump out as night is falling in the post-apocalyptic wasteland, the sun going down behind the ripped apart carcass. Of humanity's cities, and you pop up and uh, uh, oh, looks like they were quick to fucking clean up that chair and such. Um, yeah, they, or replace it. It's hard to say, but you're back in the uh, PC room. All right, so let's see if we can gather together a bunch of uh, <clears throat> mercs or people that we can hire. Well, to. let's just see if it works at all, because there's no point in gathering them if it doesn't work. The longer, because I can only do that once a day. Oh, okay. Fine. I didn't know that. So, I, honestly, I could try it right now. But well, it's it's not time. It's a sketch. Isn't it? It's a one shot. Ah. Okay. I see. So I know I'm probably going to be tossing in a couple hero points to make this work. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if it even works, it's, yeah. yeah. Exactly. But, I mean, we can get, you know, we get some armor while we're here. Do you need armor? Do you need anything? I have, I have leather armor. I have my sword. No. Shit to tool yourself up with. <laughs> I, have, I have everything I need for that area, at least. At least for what we're doing now. Okay. Right. So you guys are standing there looking at each other. So we asked the guards, is there any guards that we, like, do we have, like, a merc company that of, like, a small squad of mercs that we can hire? Like, do they know of anybody that we could do that with? Hmm. Give me a research role as you go around interviewing various rhino-headed guards and such, because they, they are not a merc squad. They are the uh, uh, special guards just for the embassy. Oh, oh, yeah, there yeah. quite a few of them, but they can't go elsewhere. All right, minus 10 for you. Oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> Freddie attempts to, he keeps asking people, can I have hamburger? And, <laughs> right, which confuses and distracts them. But despite Freddie's uh, help, you manage to uh, find out uh, that there, there, uh, there are some uh, um, cowboy types in town that you could hire for a bit of a shoot 'em up type thing. No, shoot it, shoot it. Stab it, stab it. Everybody here uses guns, you're told. Why would you want to go stabby, stabby? It needs to be quiet. Uh... We're paying you to be quiet and to not use guns. That's why. Ah, uh, they say <laughs> they're not. They 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 aren't really skilled in non-gun things here because everybody uses guns. 
Well, I suppose uh, we could lasso them on the horses and ride off with them that way, but that's still pretty noisy. No horses. The cowboys look at you like, um, no, thanks. <laughs> Pass. All right. Well, duck. There's always Kinderville. All right, let's go to Kinleyville right quick. No problem. You guys go to Kinleyville. I trumped that, by the way. Yes, I, I didn't think you were going to fucking shadow walk to Kinleyville, although that would Well, I mean, good. I'm not going to use Clems. That's what I'm saying. Really? Are you not liking Clem anymore? I mean, I like Clem, but... He likes you? <laughs> right. I... You... You uh, get back to uh, the PC uh, home. You're standing in there looking at each other. God damn, you're hungry and thirsty. Oh, look, food and water. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Oh, no, 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 no. Cool. So we haven't slept yet, so we're, I'm trying yeah. to see if we can get this done tonight and then try again tomorrow. Yep. No problem. Um, who, who do you want to go see about trying to get some... Uh, people is there a mercenary guild here even uh no or an adventure guild or anything no um, i just ask darius for a favor then he probably won't do a favor for me but i can go we can go ask see if there's anybody that we can hire well how about this we can offer them because they're still looking for more people right like they're trying to populate their city. Right. So we'll say because we we're gonna bring well. an influx of people. Yeah. Yeah. You guys go to Darius and tell him that and he goes, That does sound good. They 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 need rescuing and you have a way to get them here, presumably. Possibly. By the way, I don't know if it'd be of any interest. He's ignoring Fulton who's he's mad at right now and talking to Freddie, <laughs> which is an unusual feeling for Freddie. Um there was two guys named Brian and Tom poking around the settlements. Uh, they didn't cause any trouble, but people feel felt like they were looking for something. What did they say that they might have been looking for? Do, they didn't mm. say, or uh, no? They 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 expressed an interest in jewelry and such. Oh, uh, did mm. stones. I described to them the ones that were told. When the ones that Joshua said he saw in the embassy and he gave them that food. That sounds like them. A couple guys with military haircuts, pretty muscular, traveling the air with a bunch of uh, 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 weapons and stuff. Oh, and something else weird. Um, before they came into town, people reported hearing rifle shots, which I. I yeah? Yeah. Damn, they must be really okay. Well, they might have been able to find some kind of weapons that don't that you work outside the norm type thing. Maybe they all uh, don't. Those look like uh, um, uh, kind of old timey uh, standard issue military weapons. Uh, I don't know from like a generation ago or something. We believe them to be doors, but oh yeah, they're they're definitely. Right. And they uh, reports that I've had until uh, they look pretty real. Huh. Wait, they looked real. Oh yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, they caused no problems. I didn't have them detained or anything. They did seem dangerous. Oh, and one report also uh, they were carrying grenades and stuff. They didn't use them. I see. Mm -hmm. And where, where are they now? Do you know? Don't know. They went off. Uh, uh, they headed east uh, toward the uh, uh, swamps and such. Fair enough. Oh, now, did they have? Um, did they have a pair of these? I point to my bracelet. No. No. Okay. No, not that it was reported. 
Brian and Tom. All right. Well, thanks for the info. Yeah. Uh, as far as uh, soldiers and stuff, uh, uh, sure. What? What? Uh, I mean, uh, the problem is we don't have that many original doors left. Uh, See, that's the thing is I'm trying to do something that I don't know if it'll work or not, but it might where you won't need to be a door to travel. Empathy rolls. Dun, 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 oh, already, dun, dun. I don't need an empathy roll. I, no. I, but I, I, I'll take it so I can get a check in it. All right. Let me, I'm making my, I'm, I have noms, so. Mm -hmm. I fumble it. Amen. Oh, he loves me still. I knew yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, Freddie, what you're thinking is that he's very cautious in dealing with the destroyer of worlds here because he's worried his people will get destroyed. He says, well, uh, we've I, got some people we can send through. What kind of weapons do you want them with? Like uh, spears and such? Yeah, uh, bows. Anything that, yeah. Bows? Go ahead. Yeah, bows. Yeah, bows anything non-technological. Yeah. Crossbows? No. No, no crossbows. Uh, you're going to have to fill me in a bit more then. What's up? Uh, Why not an, crossbows? Because the right. world that they're coming from is uh, alien post-apocalyptic, where uh, there are satellites that, if you're using technology, will uh, destroy you in blue flame. Jesus, yeah, uh, basically that. We're gonna come back or what? Yeah, yeah. We'll, as long we'll, as they we'll, don't we'll. use techno like technology, they're fine. But you're needing them to fight, so it's gonna be dangerous. Yes. And Magic doesn't exist there. Okay, and you're saying bows are okay for sure, but not crossbows. Personally, I'd forego the bows, and I would do like just armor with good melee weapons. And magic yeah. doesn't work there, so we don't need any of that. Okay. Right. No. He says, "All right." Sorrel goes, "They're just gonna get your people killed, Darius. Why would you even talk to Doctor Fulton if you are a real doctor?" He says. Sorry, sorry, who was that? Who said that? A uh, guy named Sorrell. He's got black hair and he's looking pretty stylish. I can show you his picture here. Apparently, you're not a real doctor anymore, according to him. Uh, hold on a second. Hey, oh, skipping over to here. Yeah. This is what Sorrell looks like. He appears to have taken uh, Obed's place. So, so, yeah. All right. Claire's like, now, Sorel, don't don't talk to one of the uh, um, stalwarts like that. And he goes, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You think very much of yourself, don't you? No, I just think very little of you getting our people killed, causing all sorts of pandemonium. And saving the world, too, but let's not mention that, right? <sighs> he says. Perhaps, perhaps it didn't need saving. How are we to know? No, no, it definitely did, believe me. I was there. Well, we have only your word on that, he says dubiously. What, you didn't see the leaves changing and winter Maybe coming? Maybe natural season change. How, How is it natural? How long have you been here? About three years. Yeah, and in that time, has that ever happened? Maybe the seasons just change especially slowly here. No, they don't do that. Oh, but then it changes back just because, right? Uh, no, it's still fall, he says. Early fall. As it fits into my theory that maybe the seasons are just extremely slow here. It will be a long winter. But mark my words, winter is coming. Not if we have anything to say about it. Right. Uh... Sorrel, uh, leave off a bit. Uh, come uh, with with me uh, 
uh, Freddie and Fulton uh, says, Darius, let's see if we can round you up some people. I'm guessing it's time sensitive. Yeah. Sorrel glares at you as though you're responsible for destroying several worlds. Sounds good. <laughs> hey, seems to hate you even more if that's possible. Uh, you go out with Darius and he looks for volunteers. Um, he he calls together uh, some people and he says, one of the stalwarts has requested our aid in this. Uh, Which one? Says somebody. Uh, Fulton. And Freddy. Eh. <laughs> Say the people. Right. And uh, do either of you have leadership skill? No. Why don't you, uh, why don't one of you pop up on, he's gathered a lot of warrior types. Why don't one of you pop up on this box and uh, tell them what it's all about? So, we're trying to bring some people that are very oppressed in a different land, in a different world, back here so they can live here with you people. They've had a very hard life and they are, they're under the worst conditions and it's been horrifying for them as they've watched their friends being eaten around them. Yeah. Take a plus 10% on your leadership as you give this speech. If you fumble again, I know exactly what they're going to say. Oh, I am. I right. You, you have like uh roll, roll a D 20. And add it to 10. That's how many volunteers you have. If you get it, you have wow. 12 volunteers. Okay. Right. So uh, they, they um, let's see, uh, they get in with the uh, uh, swords and shields, armor. Yeah. Daggers. Um, spears. Yeah. Yeah. Throwing spears. Nope. They, have, they each have uh, uh, one throwing spear, sword, shield, dagger. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's fine. Armor. Okay, they get assembled and ready to go. Where are we marching to? Right here. I pull out. We. I. I. Can I have that trump, please? Uh. Yeah. I had it over there. It's nighttime here. You guys are launching this from, uh, they really, uh, you're kind of out, you have to go out of town a bit to gather people and stuff because there's no fucking room in this city. That's fine. Do you have any skill plus cards? They build, Unless they, you want to cook them a meal. No. Mm, okay. People are like, a meal? What do you mean when you said you people, says one of them to another? I don't think he's being racist. Wah, wah. All right, so we'll camp here tonight, and then we'll try in the morning. <laughs> wait, oh. wait, wait. Does that extend the sketch? I no, not, no. It's it uh, one one use. I'm gonna be nice okay. and say it's one use. Cool. But uh, they all go. What time in the morning are we leaving? First thing. Like when the sun's first coming up. Yes. So I get to sleep in. Great. We'll meet you back here. They all go camp at their homes because okay. it's okay. And they are all there just before the sun rises because. All right, hold on, wait. I need to do all HP and stuff. Ooh. Heal, Freddy, heal. And I'll do my other stuff as well. Freddy, go. Fulton goes, you guys go to each other. Damn, so close. Freddie's making a lot of weird noises, Fulton. Yeah. Now he's just going, Do you have any patent items on you, Doc? Yes. May I study I, one of them? I show him the pinky ring. Okay, I'll stare, I'll stare at it for a moment. Damn. Damn. All right. Doc Bolton, you doing any quick skill of or cut to morning? 
That would be cool if there was like... Actually, yes. I will try something. Oh, my God. And that's how Doc Fulton exploded. <laughs> uh, okay. I won't be a fuck, and I'll just do it the one time. <clears throat> It'd be cool if you could make a macro that says oh. roll these five different skills for skill horn purposes. Yeah, it didn't work. Um, I mean, I honestly, you, can, thing. <laughs> you can do that yourself, honestly. Yeah, I'll never figure that out. Nobody the shifting takes a couple days, right? Well, it takes a couple days to learn a new form. Like, uh, and then you just make a note of which forms. Like, for example, I want thicker skin. I've spent a couple of days doing it. You're right, thicker skin. Because pretty much at this level, it's thicker skin, uh, claws, and... Mm, and I change the color of my eyes. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, very, very minor shit like that. As oh. Freddie tries very hard to be somebody different, he's working on green, green, green. Yeah, that, that's what I'll work on the next two days. Well, if you've got two days to live, are you done skill horning, yeah. Duck? Yeah, because most of the things I have are big things that can't be done like in a day anymore because I've gotten everything from the things that are like, eh, eh, eh. Lovely. The troops are all gathered. You've got 12 of them. You're not sure if you can hold it open long enough for that. But you can try it. You've got them in a line. They're ready to go. They're like, so what's going to happen? <laughs> so I'm going to take this. I'm going to open up. It's going to turn into a gate. And everybody needs to rush through as quickly as they can. Okay. But try okay. to be quiet because we're going to try to, we're going to walk. We're going to be in an area where we can wait for them to leave the camp. And then we're going to raid once they, once they're out scavenging. Okay. Okay. Yep. We're into it. Uh, one thing. Oh, uh, do we have a uh, way back home? Yeah. Oh, good, good. Okay. Oh, uh, it uh, might take some days, but we'll. I'll get you back. Should we bring anything else aside from weapons and stuff? Want to go get some food and such? They all scatter immediately. Stop. Stop. Yeah. Should we? Can you bring a horse? Do we want that? Look. I'm getting people through. Let's do one thing at a time. All right. <laughs> I'm just saying because we need something or someone to. I have to hold, hold them open, truck. and it takes concentration. Total concentration. concentration. All right, fine. I uh, know. I'm just letting Total. you know. Like, that's something that I can try in the future. But let's get people. Let's get this done first. All right. All right. Fine. After a half an hour, they all are back with like. Uh, we're going to be going camping somewhere for a few days and have brought food, water, bedrolls, et cetera. They all now have packs that they're going to be dropping once they get there. Okay. They look accusingly at uh, Freddie for not telling them this. You guys are, uh, one of them uh, uh, even is thoughtful enough to give you guys each a pack of food, water, bedrolls, tent. I mean, we can go back and forth. Okay, sure. Thank you. Thank you, Blair. Yeah. Thank you. All these guys are like fourth or fifth gen type dudes. A couple of them have red hair for some reason. All right, we're ready to go? They're ready to go. They're in their line going hut, 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 very quietly. Wow. They begin going through at the rate of one per round. Holy shit. That actually goes to food. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They they were expecting unlike the beast guys who would have freaked out and run away. Magic bad. These guys are somewhat used to magic. 